everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be my perfume collection. I am so excited to film this video. I have had so many requests to film this, it's crazy. So I'm finally sitting down and filming it. I also have a little bit of a perfume haul to share with you guys at the beginning, so I can't wait to talk about that. But first, I did want to mention that this video is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. I was sent the perfumes that I'm going to haul uh, from fragrance.com, and if you haven't heard of fragrance.com, I'll talk about them more in a second. But like I said, not sponsored in any way. They just sent me these perfumes to try out and review and talk about. So that's what I'm going to do. Also, I have my hair in this little, like, <laughs> this fun little pony right here. So please excuse her. She's kind of doing her own thing. We're a little bit wild today. So... Let's go ahead and get started. So in case you haven't heard of fragrance.com, it's a website that sells completely genuine, completely authentic perfumes for discounted prices, and you can even get up to 80% off, which is in crazy, is in crazy? <laughs> I was saying incredible and crazy. It's crazy and incredible because we all know how expensive perfume is. It's, it's, it's a little bit absurd, honestly. So fragrance.com is a really like, cool website to browse around. They don't have every single perfume out there, but they have so many. I even went on their website and searched for some of my favorite perfumes that I already own to see if I could find some better deals, and I could, or I did, so I am going to share that with you in a little bit. I will have links in the description box to the perfumes that fragrance.com sent me, and I also have a coupon code for you guys. It's not an affiliate link or anything like that. It's just literally a coupon code, so you save money. You actually save 30% with the code PAGECORIN, so I will have all the info in the description box, links, names of perfumes, all of that, so you can just check down there for that info, and let's go ahead and get into the haul. So the first perfume that I have here, they did let me pick these perfumes out, so I'm so excited. I'm literally so excited about these. So the first perfume that I picked out is Black Opium by YSL, and I have been dying to get my hands on this perfume, so I'm so excited that I finally have an eye am obsessed with it so I actually wore it for the first time today and I went to school and my friend was like someone smells so good I don't know who it is though and then I, I thought it could be me but I didn't say anything and then um, like an hour or so later she was like I still smell it and she leaned over and sniffed me and she was like it's you <laughs> and then she asked what I was wearing and I told her and she was like oh my gosh like <laughs> that's crazy so I freaking love this stuff. I literally still smelled like it. I could smell it on myself, which normally when you spray a perfume, it kind of wears off over time, or at least you get used to it, but I could still smell this on myself after being at school for like five hours, so... I this this is this is a new top one for me so I'm really excited about this I have the 1.6 fluid ounce here and I did want to give you a little price comparison example so on Sephora's website this perfume this size is $94 but on fragrance.com this perfume this size is $76.99 with the 30% off coupon code which is such a good deal that's twenty dollars off almost and that's a lot of money when you're talking about a perfume so i freaking love this i'm reading the notes on this scent and it says that it's warm and spicy and that the key notes are black coffee white flowers and vanilla and i love the smell of coffee not a big coffee drinker i love the smell of coffee and now that i smell that and i've read that it does kind of smell like coffee a little bit, but it also smells like vanilla, and we all know <laughs> that vanilla is like my favorite scent ever, so this is definitely going to become a staple signature perfume for me, and I, this is definitely something that I will repurchase probably forever and ever. The next perfume that they sent me is Gucci Guilty by Gucci, and... This packaging is freaking incredible. I am so obsessed with it. It does get little fingerprints on it, but it's fine. <laughs> you can just buff them out. This perfume is something else. So this scent is much more florally smelling than the previous one. And don't get me wrong, I love floral, but sometimes florally scents can get a little bit stinky, a little bit strong, but this one, <laughs> It's amazing. So the notes for this scent are geranium, pink pepper, lilac, peach, amber, and patchouli. And that makes sense. I freaking love patchouli, so I get why I like this so much. And I will say you can definitely smell the geranium. I feel like that is a very powerful note in this fragrance. And 
it's so good i love the packaging I, I don't know i can't tell which packaging i like better this one or this one they're both really really nice so this perfume is the 1.6 fluid ounce and this perfume this size on sephora's website is 78 dollars and on fragrance.com with the 30 percent off coupon it's 41 dollars huh for the same perfume, same size, $41. Like, why would you not buy it from fragrance.com? And I know I'm like definitely hyping up fragrance.com right now, but like, honestly, like I said, not sponsored, and I'm, these are completely genuine opinions, but it just like doesn't, it just seems like such an easy decision. The third and final perfume that I was sent is Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. And I know that this is a very popular scent. It's been popular for the last couple of years, I would say, and for very good reason. It smells delicious. This is literally, this is my third perfume <laughs> that I've sprayed on myself today. This is very sweet, very yummy, and delicious. I love the packaging on here. I think it's so freaking cute. And this is the one fluid ounce size, so this one is smaller than the other two perfumes that I just showed you. And this is by far the most expensive by size. So the one fluid ounce size on Sephora is $85, which is... <laughs> A lot for a perfume and on fragrance.com with the code it is $76.99 so the description again says that this is a warm and spicy scent and the notes are jasmine orange blossom and patchouli that's what I'm smelling out of the three perfumes that I was sent my favorite one is definitely black opium by YSL I freaking love this so much I'm so excited I still absolutely love the other two and I definitely see myself wearing them like probably alternating every other day but yeah i'm just so thankful that fragrance.com gifted me these perfumes seriously they were so amazing to work with and their website is really easy to navigate and it shows you like retail price and price with coupon and all of that so like i said everything will be linked in the description box and let's get into the collection portion of this video so obviously the three perfumes that i hauled are now a part of my collection but aside from those i did want to start with the three perfumes that are obviously missing from my background these are some of my favorites so the first one being pink sugar and as you guys know this is my all-time favorite perfume ever 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 in life it's so freaking good I can't get enough of it. So many of you guys have told me that you've purchased this because of me and that you love it. And so I did want to mention, I'm bringing back fragrance.com and this is not like a talking point or anything like that. I just personally like researched this and found this out. So I normally get my pink sugar from TJ Maxx for $19.99 for the 3.4 fluid ounce bottle, which is this. So 20 bucks for this. However, um, it retails for 60 on Sephora's website and I was like, hmm, let me let me do some research on fragrance.com just for fun and see what the price is there. So for this size of this perfume with the code, the price is $16.79. That's cheaper than TJ Maxx, and from now on, I'm definitely getting it from there, and it is only $4 cheaper, but with how many bottles of this that I go through, that's going to add up over time, so I did just want to quickly throw that out there. Again, not sponsored, not told to say that they didn't even know I was doing that, but I did want to give them a shout out for that because I think that's really, really cool. So if you're ever in need of a backup of pink sugar or a replacement bottle, then I would definitely say to check out their website because you know that you can find it there and if you go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls it's very hit or miss so anyways back to the collection I love this perfume so much it is my all-time favorite I have several backups of it already different sizes travel sizes full sizes I have the body lotion the body butter I have it all it's my fave the other two perfumes that I keep on this tray behind me are Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture another one of my all-time favorites I love the packaging on this bottle and it smells so good I've gone through I think three bottles of this in my <laughs> lifetime and it's really really good it's pretty much a classic to me so I don't think I'll ever not have this on hand. And then the uh, third perfume that I keep on this tray behind me, I actually ha got this more recently. This is by KKW, and I'm like kind of like afraid to even show it on camera. So this is KKW Body. I did pick this up from Ulta, and I freaking love it so much. It smells so good. It's a very florally scent, so if that's your thing, then I think you would absolutely love this. 
If not, then I'd probably skip this one. I'm gonna talk about my perfumes in somewhat of a group form just to have some organization to this video. So I'm gonna play off of my pink sugar. So I do have a couple of variations of pink sugar that I wanted to show you guys and mention. So this first one is Pink Flower by Pink Sugar and the packaging on this is absolutely adorable. I love it, I can't get enough of it. And this smells really good, really, really good. It smells a lot like pink sugar, but with a floral twist, it's pretty self-explanatory. I also have Simply Pink by Pink Sugar, which is, again, smells a lot like pink sugar, but a little bit more simple. Not as super sugary sweet, I would say, so a little bit more calm, maybe, but again, really, really delicious smelling. And then I also have Pink Sugar Sensual, which is more of a musky take on the pink sugar scent, and I love all of them. Oh, I do have one more that I forgot to show and blend it in with my other ones. This is Gold Sugar. So this one smells really, really good. <laughs> Obviously, I'm probably going to say that about every perfume because I have them because I like the way that they smell. This one to me doesn't really smell like pink sugar. It is very sweet and like light and fun, which reminds me of pink sugar, but the actual scent doesn't really smell like pink sugar to me. I really love this one and I do believe that they sell this on fragrance.com as well. So I have an absurd amount of body shop perfume, so we better get rolling on those, otherwise we're gonna be here all freaking day. So the first five perfumes that I have all come in this packaging right here. So the first one I have is Oriental Orchid, which is so delicious. I love it so much. I did get all of these at TJ Maxx for like a very discounted price, probably like eight or nine dollars, which is crazy. Uh, the next one I have is the White Flora, which is so delicious as well. One of my favorites. My favorite out of the five though is the Spicy Woods. It has this like brown label. So yummy and spicy and warm. I, I definitely am a warm and spicy kind of gal as well as sugary and sweet. Florals I love, but I prefer the other. The next one I have is Fresh Flora, which is another really, really delicious smelling one. And then the last one that I have in this packaging is Aromatic Cedar, which this one isn't my favorite. It's a lot more like herbally and earthy than I'm used to, but I still really like it. I think it's fun to mix with other ones to sweeten it up a little bit. The next body shop perfume I have is this one right here. And this one is like halfway gone or more. This is the Polynesian Island Tiara. Tiara, I'm not sure how you say that word, um, but it smells so delicious. It smells like gardenia. I love it so yummy that I saw another one and I had to pick up a backup of it. So I actually have two of those, which is, I know, I know it's crazy. I don't need backups of all of my perfumes, but when I see a good deal, I can't help but snag it. I have a couple of these big perfumes from the body shop as well. So the first one is White Musk, which is a nice clean scent. And then the next one is White Musk Smoky Rose. So obviously it's another muskier kind of scent but has a rose twist. Rose is definitely not everyone's cup of tea but I think that in the right perfume and the right amount it can smell really really delicious. I have the Body Shop Perfume Oil in Red Musk and this one, I actually can't think of what it smells like off the top of my head. This one also smells really good. It smells really woodsy and it's a lot deeper and more serious than my typical perfume but I still really do enjoy that. And then I actually have two of the Black Musk from The Body Shop, and this smells so good. I have the little mini body lotions that go with this. I have the perfumes. Mmm, I love this so much. It almost has like a very undertone to it. I don't know. I'm not the best at describing scents, but I do try my best to do so. So I really like this one. This is probably my favorite out of the ones that I just mentioned from the body shop. And then I have a bunch of these ones, which I get for $4.99 from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I've got mango. I've got two of the early harvest raspberry. I've got shea and I've got coconut. So I love all of these so much. Shea is probably my least favorite just because it's like kind of bland, but it still smells delightful and I love the body shop. These are super fun to just like spray on real quick. They last not 
forever and ever and ever <laughs> but they do smell really good and sweet and delicious you know and when you initially apply them i like to keep these in my car just for a fun little fresh up or even to like spray my car because i don't really have any scent thingy in my car anymore so i like to keep one of these in there for that i have another kim kardashian perfume this is the peach kimoji perfume and i love peach so much i love peach flavored candy i love peach scented things and this one smells so good and i love the packaging on it this definitely smells more like a real peach than just like straight up pink peach rings but it also has that candy kind of twist to it this perfume is from wild fox and this smells so good first of all can we just appreciate the packaging on here it's so beautiful and this smells amazing it's very florally and fresh and clean and i just really like it a lot i'm starting to like lose my voice a little bit because my nose is getting very overwhelmed by all the perfume that i'm spraying but yeah i love this so much i got this one from tj maxx i get a lot of my perfume from tj maxx as well my next fragrance is lily lang by sylvain delacour and this stuff right here is fancy like it's fancy even the lid is like so heavy and it feels like it weighs two pounds like it's fancy it smells fancy it is fancy it reminds me of like a boutique kind of perfume like very like unique and fun so i really like this perfume a lot as well it's definitely different than anything that i own my next perfume i got from anthropology this is the mistral lychee or lychee rose this smells delicious it's very sweet and fruity but it does have a hint of rose and the packaging on here is so beautiful like it's so beautiful and i actually did see this brand at tj maxx the other day so keep your eyes open for that i have two little perfumes here from tory birch the first one is just the regular tory birch perfume and then i also have tory birch absolute and these are the kind that you like dump on your finger and then dab on your wrist or wherever and i actually bought these from my mom a long time ago and she wasn't really using them because she uses her lush perfume so i asked if i could have them back and she said yes so they're mine now i have these three perfumes which are from lily pulitzer these are old like these are really old so the first one i have here is squeeze and it smells delicious this is probably my favorite of the three i also have beachy and then i have wink and wink is actually probably my least favorite scent of the three but it's the pink one so ugh, it's my favorite packaging wise but i just think these are really cute i think they're kind of fun and like they make me reminisce of the days when I was obsessed with Lily Pulitzer and I had a Lily Pulitzer planner and pencils and shorts and shirt and purse and like literally everything I had was Lily Pulitzer. So yeah, these are a nice throwback perfume. I have a newer perfume and this one is amazing so i actually bought this for myself and it was right before christmas and then my friend also bought it for me so now i have three <laughs> three of them so it this is the ariana grande cloud perfume this is the one that i bought for myself i randomly saw this at ulta one day actually my mom did and she was like Paige, look at this it's amazing it smells so good so then i smelled it and I loved it so i actually they didn't have it in stock when i was there so i went back like another time and picked it up and then my friend was like paige you need to stop buying stuff because i'm not gonna be able to get you anything for christmas so for christmas she gave me the perfume set and it came with this perfume it's the like 1.7 fluid ounce size and then the little mini travel one which are so cute so i literally have like a family of clouds like oh, that's adorable and then it also came with a little cloud like eye sleeping mask which is so cute and fun and soft and i love it so i've been really digging that perfume recently i have a couple more perfumes that i got from anthropology these i don't know what the brand is but this is what they look like so i have the peach one and then i have the vanilla one and both of these are really good this peach one smells like a real peach so it's not sweet and like candy like it's just very like real peach real peach like and then the vanilla one ah, this is this i want to drink this it smells like a vanilla milkshake like it's so sweet and creamy and delicious like this is one of my new favorite perfumes. I just got this recently, but it's so good. I love it. I love it. And it's only $18, which is 
a really nice price for a perfume. The next perfume I have is from Zara and I got this a long time ago. It was exactly 2015. So this is the Zara from Zara with Sweetness perfume and it's in this cute little birdcage. It's really dusty so I apologize about that but I have had this for like almost four years now. I got this when I was in Poland and it's so cute. I really, really like this a lot. This perfume I have here used to be in the background of my videos, but then I put the Kim KW, <laughs> Kim KW, the KKW body perfume to replace it. This is the Vera Wang, I think it's called Sparkly Princess or something like that. It's glittery and fun. It's very fruity and sweet and delicious. So I love this one a lot as well. I have never had the original Vera Wang Princess, but that's definitely a perfume that I'm really interested in buying. I feel like that would be a really fun throwback as well. I have a couple of celebrity perfumes. So the first one is Taylor Swift Wonderstruck. I have gone through two bottles of this. This is my third bottle. I get so many compliments when I wear this perfume. Like it's honestly kind of crazy because it's everyone's like, what are you wearing? And I'm like, Taylor Swift. So like I said, Wonderstruck from Taylor Swift. I love this so much. It's very sweet and fruity. And then the other uh, Taylor Swift, not Taylor Swift, not Taylor Swift, celebrity perfume I have is the Katie Pillar, Katie Pillar, <laughs> Katy Perry Killer Queen perfume. And I love the bottle on this perfume. I think it's so fun and unique and different. And this smells really good. It's definitely more like musky and serious than the other ones that I just mentioned, but it has a really nice fruity twist to it. I have this fragrance from Demeter, and this is in the scent Pixie Dust. Pixie Dust, that's the name of the perfume. It smells like cotton candy, sweet tart sugar. It's so good. It actually smells like that sugar that you fill up those clear plastic tubes with and there's like a bunch of different flavors. That's what this smells like. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I have a couple of perfumes from Pacifica. So these ones I got from TJ Maxx. These are the Sparkling Star Passion Fruit. I have Mediterranean Fig and then I have... I'm not even going to try to pronounce this one, but I do really like these a lot and I think the packaging is really cute on them. However, I wish they came with a lid. They didn't come with a lid or a cap or whatever, so don't know why that is. I would have wished that they had one because I feel like it looks like it's missing its lid, but it's still really cute. And they smell good and that's the important part. This next perfume is one that I have been loving so, 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 so much. I bought this for myself right before Christmas. This is from MAC. It's the Creme de Nude Shade Sense Perfume. And this looks really cute. Like, not gonna lie, this looks so cute. They also had a Candy Yum Yum one and then like a red one. And this one was my favorite scent. And I love this. It smells so good. Like I said, love sugary, sweet perfumes, and that's what this is, so of course I'm gonna love it. And then my last three perfumes that I have to talk about are from Province Beauty, and these are so cool in my opinion. So this first one is Tiger's Eye, which is the strength one. So this one has sandalwood, coconut, and rose, and actually has a little Tiger's Eye crystal in there, which I think is so cute. I love crystals, as you guys know. I think they're so beautiful and gorgeous. So I have them all over my room, like all over every corner of my room, there's crystals. And I just think they're so pretty. And I think it's so cool that that's something that's like naturally found in nature. So I'm a big fan. The next one I have is Onyx and this one says confidence and it has vanilla, cedarwood and amber. And this one has like a little Onyx crystal in there. And then the last one I have is Aurora Quartz, which is creativity. And this one has citrus, sugar cane and jasmine. And this one has a cute little pink crystal in there. So those are all of the perfumes that I have. I do have some solid perfumes from Lush that I did not mention, but they're all the way over there, like all the way over there, and I really don't want to go get them. So I'm just going to mention them, and then I actually do have these two solid ones. These are from Pacifica. This one is Hawaiian Ruby Guava, and then this one is Indian Coconut Nectar. So I'm a big solid perfume fan. I feel like they're kind of underrated and nobody really talks about them, but they're really convenient for traveling or on the go or just 
I don't know, as something different to use. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Also, let me down below, what is your favorite perfume of all time? I'm really, really curious. I know I have a lot of perfumes, but I'm just such a fan of perfumes. I love going to Sephora and smelling them or wherever, and I definitely plan on expanding my perfume collection in the future so let me know your favorites i'd love to try some of them or maybe we have some of the same favorites i don't know comment down below so thank you guys you're the freaking best don't forget to check out the links in the description box for fragrance.com and the coupon code and all of that will be down below there will be a giveaway in my next video so make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss that opportunity i love you guys so much i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next one bye